Hello, you are listening to Dr. Shushma Singh in Unit 1 Development and Progress, Economic and Social Dimensions under the heading of Comte, Morgan, Marx and Spencer on Development and Progress. Today we will discuss Karl Marx. Marx presents an interpretation of the structure, functioning and progression of the capitalist society from the previous stages. Marx, however, provides the idea of radical transformation of society by elucidating a comprehensive theory of human progress in term of contradiction inherent in the material structure of society. To him, the actual basis of society is its economic structure. Marx out outlines the Asiatic, the ancient, the federal and the capitalist as the major modes of production or epochs in the progress of human society. The Asiatic mode of production does not constitute a stage in the Western society. Primitive communities are characterized by community ownership and their subordination by the state. In the ancient mode of production, slavery and in the federal mode of production, serfdom provide the foundation of the productive system. The capitalist mode of production is characterized by large scale commodity production, emergence of free labor markets and rapid growth of technology. Marx forecasts that capitalism would be replaced by socialism through violent revolution. Marx argues that new developments of productive forces of society come in conflict with the existing relations of production. For Marx, it is the growth of the new productive forces and the contradiction built into them outline the course of human history. Class struggles have been recognized as the driving force of the social change and development. To him, the history of the hetero existing society is a history of class struggles. The dictomous class based societies would be replaced through a vehement class struggle to usher in an epoch of the classless, stateless society whereby each would contribute according to one's capacity and would receive according to one's need. Now let us discuss Herbert Spencer. Herbert Spencer believed in progress and in the unity and irreversibility of historical development. The law of progressive development of society was his central concern. Spencer was highly influenced by Charles Darwin's work, The Origin of Species. Spencer propagated that all through the ages there had been social evolution from a simple uniform or homogeneous structure to a complex multifold or heterogeneous one. Thus he drew an analogy between the living organism and the human society in explaining their progress through evolutionary processes. To him, in the process of evolution, societies march from simple to various levels of compound on the basis of their composition. 
the aggregate of some simple societies gives rise to compound societies and the aggregate of some compound societies gives rise to doubly compound societies. The aggregate of doubly compound societies gives rise to triply compound societies. Simple societies according to Spencer consist of families unified into clans. Doubly compound societies consist of clans unified into tribes and triply compound societies have tribes brought together forming nations and states. Spencer has also delineated the evolution of societies from military to industrial as a model of analysis. Compulsory co cooperation a centralized pattern of authority and social control myths and beliefs affirming the hierarchical notion of society, rigorous discipline and close identity between public and private spheres characterized the military society. The industrial society on the other hand was characterized by voluntary cooperation recognition of personal rights, separation of the economic realm from political control of the government and growth of free associations and institutions. It is very important to note that Spencer's model of evolution helped explain the emergence and expansion of the laissez-faire doctrine of free market in the Europe and America. Spencer was of the view that progress was largely due to the pressure of population and he presented a comprehensive theory by including a variety of factors in his theory of social evolution and progress. He treated human society as a biological organism and therefore try to study development in the sense of change from within. He propounded an analogy between society and organism and between social and economic growth and argued that with increase in size the structural complexity of the society also increases. Here we want to close our today's lecture. Thanks for listening.